Hey guys! So today I want to talk to you about what every girl should have in their closet. First we're going to start with the little black dress. Now for centuries, the little black dress has been like the go-to item when a girl needs to have something to wear. It helps you look polished, you can wear it with belts or cardigans or leggings or tights or anything. It can be casual, it can be dressed up, it can be just about anything you want it to be. Thanks to Coco Chanel, the little black dress is the must-have item for any girl in any closet. No matter where you live, what you're doing, it's important to have a little black dress. You can pair it with stilettos, or little booties, or flats, or wedges, just about anything. Okay, another important thing to have in a closet is denim, and I'm talking about jeans. Now, there are many different types, and every type flatters someone differently. So. Don't give up. When you're in the defending room, always keep trying. You'll find that perfect pair of jeans. And when you find the perfect pair of jeans, make sure you wear them like you buy like 10,000 of them. Well, maybe not 10,000, but a lot. The dark wash jeans are obviously the most versatile ones you can wear. You can wear them with most any color top. Also, um, dark and blue, dark blues and dark blacks are also very flattering on all figure types. Light jeans don't always look good on some people, but dark jeans always look good on anyone, no matter who you are. So definitely, when in doubt, go for dark. Another super item that you want to have is a color, a collared button down. A white collared shirt, or any collared shirt, has like a button down shirt, has been around for like so long. It just keeps hanging around. And obviously they update it every once in a while. We don't have ruffles like we used to, because those were just insane. But I like to use like button downs as like beach cover ups or even sometimes oversized one and just wear them with skinny jeans and some cute boots. They're very versatile, you can wear them with whatever. And they're kind of for the beach though they're kind of nice because it's not like a super like a skin tight like beach wrap. It's more of a if you're more of body issues, you're more insecure about your body, it's kind of good to kind of cover it up and still look really cute and sexy in a bikini or one piece or whatever you choose to wear. For most people the, a skirt would not be in their must-have item, but for me, it's almost essential. Like, when you need to feel a little fancier, you can just wear a skirt. I mean, sure, you can get the same effect from a dress being fancy, but skirts are way more versatile. And that besides, a skirt can go from being super dressy to super casual, depending on what you wear it with. Let's get some shoes. Alright, so boots are really important to me because you can wear them with skinny jeans, and they look amazing. So, these are my favorite boots right here. I actually got these at Charming Charlie's about a month ago. They're really so comfortable and they're so cute. I wear them just about every day and I get so many compliments on them. So they're super cute. Charming Charlie's. I don't remember exactly the price, but it was pretty cheap. It was about $30, which is really good for boots because most boots go for about $60 to $80. So pretty nifty. Other kind of boots that you can have are like Ugg boots, which are really comfortable and warm in the winter, especially for walking to class. Um, another good boot for walking to class are moon boots, and they're not exactly the most stylish thing ever, but they're super warm and comfy, and you can kind of make them cute in your own little way. Um, motorcycle boots, cowboy boots. These are my cowboy boots. I got these actually at Savers for about $15 because I had a Greek week event that I had to be Jessica Simpson for and do the little, these boots are made for walking dance, and I had to have cute cowboy boots, and I have them. So they're about $15 at Savers, so it's really, really inexpensive. One thing you have to know about boots, though, is you have to remember that you have to treat them before you wear them outside, because most of the times, if you're like me, you live in a cold state, and you most of the time are walking through them in snow, so you want to treat them with boot protectant before you wear them outside. Super important. Another important thing to have in your closet are white and black tops. These aren't necessarily a standout, pop-out kind of thing, but... They're so versatile, and I, I wear black and white tops with almost all, any outfit I own because I love fashion, and in fashion you have to travel, and in New York, when you go to New York, you have to wear black mostly. Black is the go-to color, and white, and you can wear them with any other colors, under things, over things, as a plain color. They're so super important to have. Let me grab some of mine. Here's one of my black little, like, cover-up jacket things. It's super cute, and it's got this kind of, like, almost Indian hippie vibe with these things. I just wear this over like a white long sleeve short shirt or a tan long sleeve shirt and it's super cute. This top right I'm wearing right now is actually it's white but the lighting makes it look cream so that's, that's it right there. Um, I wear these with my turquoise earrings. These are clip-ons you can get these at Marshalls or not Marshalls um 
Heartbreakers. You can get these earrings at Heartbreakers. Let's go with a black little heel. So I have these black little heels that I wear just about every other day. And unfortunately, I left them at home this weekend because I went to a wedding and I forgot them at my house. And now I'm back here at school and I don't have them, but they're super cute. It's important to have something that's very comfortable because you're going to wear these heels a lot. Yeah, mine are by Jessica Simpson. They're just black little stiletto heels, little pointed toe, and they're super cute. I really want to invest in some ones that have like a little peep toe because I think peep toes are so cute. As long as you paint your nails and you don't have gross feet. So another thing that's really important is to have a blazer. And you're probably thinking, oh, like the boring little wear it to a business meeting in some fancy Washington place. No, it doesn't have to be just for businesses. It can be for skinny jeans and boots or skinny jeans and heels, skinny jeans and flats or any kind of jeans really and a cute top. So let me grab my little black one. I actually have three black blazers, but I only have one with me right now here at school. But this is my black blazer. Super cute. I got it Forever 21. Um, let me try it on for you. I also have a full length one, which is really nice because I work at Macy's, so I have to do a lot of like blackness and stuff. Um, I like to have mine a little more fitted, but some people can wear more loose. Um, it looks good with jeans to going out at night or to work. It can be like one of those things like let's say you're really busy in the day and you don't have time to get ready to go out before you go to work, but you can wear this little thing to work and then change it to be a little top underneath it and bam, you're ready to go out. So, I live in Minnesota. Well, I currently live in Wisconsin, but it's super cold here. So one of the things I get to do often is wear a jacket. And most of the time you should probably have a winter coat that's more warm and stuff like that. But it's not winter yet, it's still November, it's fall. It's important to have a coat that makes you feel stylish, you know what I mean? Super cute, warm, comfortable. Um, I get to wear a lot of coats because I live in the coldest place on earth. Well, not Antarctica, but Minnesota, close enough. So let me show you my super cute pink coat. A super cute pink coat. Um, it looks like it's made out of real leather, but it's not. It's faux leather because I love animals and all fuzzy things like that. It's super, super warm. I like that I can wear it just about anywhere. It's pretty dressy yet casual. Um, I love the insides because it has that little zebra lining and it stays really wet. Like I've washed it and I don't have to worry about it falling apart. So I really like it. I honestly don't remember where I got it. It was like some little thrift store in a small town. Well, not thrift store, but like a boutique. It was a cute little boutique in some small town um, up in like northern Minnesota. But it was super comfy, super warm actually. I, I thought because a lot of times fake, fake leather is really not as warm as real leather. But it's super warm. I wear it when it's like 30 degrees and I'm still pretty warm. So it's got like all these cute little like pocket zipper things and half of them aren't actual pockets, they're just zippers, but still super cute. Another important thing to have is a super cute swimsuit because it is nothing more awkward for women to be in a swimsuit because every woman has body insecurity issues. So if you can find one that really flatters you, you'll be much more wanting to go outside and go to the beach and go to the pool. Maybe you'll find some cute guy and be, he'll be like, hey, you look cute in that swimsuit. So those are my essentials, must-haves in your closet for any girl starting out with wanting to be more stylish. That's it. If you guys have any must-have closet items, feel free to let me know what they are and tell me about them. I'm going to put some links down below as to some um, essential items I think are really cute that I found online and you can order them online and they're super awesome and most of them are at pretty good prices. I'll see you later guys!